guys welcome back to the channel or welcome to the channel if you are new here i'm tatum today i'm going to be doing an october plan with me so as some of you may know i use a bullet journal this is just a plain journal from michael's it was like ten dollars or something and it has the little dotted pages which makes it easier to draw lines and have spacing and stuff so in this video i'm going to show you how i do my plans for each month it starts out with a calendar view and then i go into a monthly overview where i list out the days with the months and what i'm doing each day and then it goes into the daily and i only use this for personal i have a different day timer for my work stuff because i find i like to have an actual day cover two pages in a day timer which is a lot so for a bullet journal that's kind of too much and it would take me five years to make two pages for each day so i like to use this for more of my personal stuff but let's get into it so to get started we just want to count the number of bullets we have on the page the worst thing you can do is start a page and then realize your blocks are different sizes for the month or just different things like that can happen. So it's always important to count them out and then divide them properly by whatever section. So if you're doing a calendar, you want to make sure you have the correct number of weeks. And then when you're going across the top like I am now, for the days you want to make sure you can have seven blocks so you just want to make sure you divide your number of bullets by seven and then properly count them as you're going across so so important you would not imagine the number of times I've done this incorrectly so and then what I'm doing now just going through and creating the blocks and the lines so I'm not using a ruler here because I don't have one right now but whenever I'm normally back in Virginia, I do use a ruler just to make it all perfect. Um, so I definitely suggest doing that. I also will say in this video, I am using just a plain black pen. This one doesn't smudge, which is why I love it so much. I just use it for everyday work and anything else that I do. Um, but you can use different colored pens. You can use markers, colored pencils, just make sure you don't bleed through the page. And as you can see on the top, I just wrote the days of the week. You can do this whatever way you want. That's the wonderful thing about a bullet journal. I start with Sunday in the classic manner just because having the work week in the middle and having fun things on the sides just makes me feel better about every day. And then just going through writing the numbers on the calendar really important to make sure you look up a calendar before doing this. When I was doing it, I didn't realize the calendar I had pulled up also had the first week of November on there. So I was like, really confused when that happened. Um, but it actually was nice having those few extra days just because then you can kind of look forward at what's coming. Now I'm just writing on the bottom October to November 2020. And I just use my normal handwriting, but you could do calligraphy if that's something you know, which is super cool. Now I'm just going to use an orange highlighter to highlight the days of the week. I like them to stand out just so it's super easy to know where you are. And now, what am I adding? Oh, I'm just adding my tasks that I already know I have. So Halloween and I'm traveling home on the 18th. Now, moving on to another page, I'm going to be doing both my next up page and my um, monthly outlook. So next up are just kind of tasks that don't have a date specifically. You know you want to get them done within the month, something like, oh, cleaning your living room. Or, you know, for me, it's about baking specific recipes that kind of go with that month's theme. So for October, things with pumpkin. And then on the right side of the page, I do all of the dates in order. And then next to that, I put the um, what day of the week it is, and I highlight that. Really important to do because 
one time I forgot it and I showed up to the hairdresser on the wrong day, which was an absolute mess. So make sure you have those days of the week. You don't have to write them fully out. I just do the short um, letter. So for Monday, I do M. And for Tuesday and Thursday, I do T for both of them. Doesn't bother me, but if it bothers you, maybe just like add an H for Thursday. And then at the top of the page, I just wrote out October 2020. And on the next step page, I'm just doing a box for my next up. And then I do little check boxes on the left side on every other line. So I just know to add some items. I also limit the number of items on this. I don't want to overwhelm myself and have too many next up tasks on there. So I just have about like 10, 15 boxes. So finally getting into the weekly layout. So again, what I do is just count the number of lines slash bullets that I can have. And for me, my numbers actually worked out perfectly for the seven days of the week. So I was able to have five lines for each day, which was really nice. Because this is my personal planner and not my work planner, I do like to have the same amount of space for every day. I know some people do a weekend line and just split it between Saturday and Sunday, which is another option. But for me personally, honestly, I could even make the Saturday and Sunday ones bigger because I actually do more personal stuff on those days. And then down the side, I'm just going to write the days of the week and I personally like to have it um, down the side and not, you know, vertical, or I guess, I guess I like them vertical, not horizontal, just because it gives me more space to write my tasks. And I also highlight the days of the week, again, because I like that to stand out. I also put the um, number of the day, so, you know, Sunday 5 or whatever, and as you can see, I'm just going to do the same thing for all of the weeks in October. You can vary your pages however you want. You can make your spaces smaller to include washi tape, stickers, you know, paper, whatever you want to do. For me, like I said, I don't have any of that stuff here with me. So I'm just doing a bare bones layout. I'm also writing at the top um, what week of the month it is. Sometimes you need to reference that. I like to have it just in case and it doesn't take up that much room. I had extra room on top of my bullets, which was nice. So I just kind of wrote it up there. And as you can see, I'm now on the very last week of October. And I do have an empty page next to it, which I will just use to have, you know, some sticky notes or some random to do's that come up. Sometimes you're on the phone and you have to write down an address or something, so I'll use that extra page for that. So that is all for today's plan with me. I really just kept it basic this month. I don't have any of my washi tape or colored pencils or markers or anything here with me in St. Louis. So it was definitely more basic than I usually do. I would kind of take this as just your baseline and then you can really get creative from here. Add colors, add styles, add designs. Really anything you find at a craft store can be used, different card stock, different, I mean, you could even use those cute little stickers, whatever you want, you can add. Um, this is just kind of my super basic outline for what I use each month, so do with it what you will. And thanks for watching. Please make sure to subscribe, like this video, follow my Insta, all the things. So thanks, guys.